Police have arrested a man who took hostages and barricaded himself inside a supermarket in Los Angeles, ending a three-hour standoff during which he fatally shot a woman inside. Earlier, Los Angeles mayor said that one woman has been killed during a standoff with the gunman at Trader Joe's store. The woman has not yet been identified. The gunman, who also shot in the arm by the police during the standoff, the shooter entered the store while he was being chased by the police in connection with shooting. One of the customers, it looks like, a, rest or a rescue team coming in, one out of the car. The aerial footage from local TV stations uh, showed people leaving the store window using a rope ladder and uh, a police carrying children safely towards the City Lake neighborhood. Some of those who escaped from the store said that they hid in the employee area in the back of the store. According to reports prior to the standoff at the grocery store, the suspect, who was 28, allegedly shot his grandmother and girlfriend before fleeing in his car. He slid in in the pole right in front of me, about maybe six feet. He jumped out of the car, and it looked like he shot some rounds off when he got out of the car, or like this. And they returned some fire at him, but he ran straight in. He just was shooting and ran straight into the, into right into Trader Joe's. Inside the store, a young woman was shot and killed. Uh, at the, our officers rescued that woman from inside and attempted to render aid with the assistance of LA Fire and unfortunately uh, were unable to revive her. Uh, her identity has not yet been uh, confirmed and so we are not uh, going to be able to provide you any further information about her. Once inside the store, the gunman, uh, still armed with a handgun, uh, took numerous uh, victims of citizens as well as store employees hostage. Through our crisis negotiation team, a SWAT involving a, a psychologist as well as our tactical members, that dialogue resulted in ultimately him handcuffing himself and coming outside and surrendering to SWAT officers approximately three hours after this horrific ordeal began.